Good morning. Still morning here in Orlando. <clears throat> I don't know when you're uh, watching the replay. Doing a little, doing a little work. I don't always get a lot of work done this time in the morning because it's like lag time for me. <clears throat> but I'm getting some work done today. Um, went over some stuff today. Uh, we had a good time doing Star Wars Day yesterday. I'm still kind of celebrating it. But in case you forget, yesterday was the 46th anniversary of uh, Kent State Massacre. <clears throat> Back then we considered four people dying a massacre. Now, uh, government seems to kill that many people, at least on a daily basis. And we're just okay with it. <clears throat> Next time a candidate uses school shootings to remind you of school shootings and try to limit your ability to protect yourself or do anything because of school shootings and their so-called compassion in that arena. Remind them that four to six years ago it was government that started it before school shootings were cool. They were going on college campuses and telling people what they could and could not do and how they could and could not feel and firing upon students. I don't want to hear anything about them protecting themselves. One of the people who was shot was 85 yards away. What a clear and present danger he must have posed. They never use it to try to limit their own ability to exact force, though, do they? No. Never try to limit their own fucking power. And the generation who lament, who experienced that and lamented that went on to become pretty much a bunch of turncoats and got in line and just voted for war pigs for years after that. With no exception. So whatever. Your beloved Democrat Party so-called conservative Republican parties have done nothing to limit the wars and the violence and the infractions of our individual rights since then. Time to get your heads out of your asses. Don't take my word for any of that. Look it up. Look it up. And then when you think about college campuses today and the generational evils that have created kids who don't want other people to have their own freedom of speech. Government doesn't have to come marching in. You don't need tin soldiers and Nixon coming to impede upon your right to speech and protest. Your fellow fucking students are doing that to you, telling you what you can say and can't say. And congratulations. <clears throat> 